Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this very very exciting and challenging video on radical equations. Equation is a square root x plus 2 whole cube plus a square root 3 minus x whole cube equal to 9. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started with our substitution. I will consider this bracket only x plus 2 equal to a and this bracket 3 minus x equal to b. So condition on a and b should be always greater than 0, positive for real solutions. Now I will write our equation, the original one. So it will be square root a cube plus square root b cube equal to 9. And if I will add these two equations, then I will write here x plus 2 equal to a, 3 minus x equal to b. If I will add, then minus x plus x will be over. So this side 5, right side a plus b. So one equation is there, a plus b equal to 5. Now I will consider here is squaring both sides. So I will be writing a square root a cube whole square plus a square root b cube whole square plus 2 times a square root a cube times a square root b cube and 9 a square is 81. Now a square root power 2 will be cancelled out. So it is left with a cube plus b cube plus 2 times. Can we write a b whole cube as a radicand equal to 81? Now I will write one property from exponents. It is a power b whole power c. I can write a power c whole power b which I will apply here. So I will swap root 2 and 3. So I can write here a cube plus b cube plus 2 times the square root a b and then I will be writing q equal to 8 1. Now let us consider substitution the square root a b equal to t. Now a is positive b is positive as per condition, then t must be always greater than 0. So our equation will become a cube plus b cube plus 2t cube. It will be equal to 81. So I will write a cube plus b cube plus 2t cube. This is equal to 81. Or I can write a cube plus b cube equal to 81 minus 2t cube. Now I will be writing our first equation a plus b equal to 5. Consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3 both sides. Let us apply the formula a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b. In bracket a plus b right side will be 5 cube 125. Now our substitution was root ab equal to t. So the value of ab will be t square. So I will write here t square. I will write this value as 5 as per equation 1. So a cube plus b cube plus 3 times 5, 15 t square equal to 125. Now I will use a cube plus b cube from this equation and I will apply here. So I can write our equation as 81 minus 2t cube plus 15t square equal to 125. Take all the term to RHS. 2t cube minus 15t square 125 minus 81 it will be 
44 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I will use method of factorization. So let me write our equation 2t cube minus 15t square plus 44. plus 44 equal to 0. So I can write our middle term minus 15t square as minus 4t square minus 11t square plus 44 equal to 0. I can take 2t square common here. So in bracket it would be t minus 2 minus 11 common from these two. So I will have t square minus 4 in the bracket equal to 0. Now t square minus 4 difference of two squares. So I will write 2t square t minus 2 minus 11 t plus 2 times t minus 2 equal to 0. If I will take t minus 2 common then I will be having in the bracket 2t square minus 11 times t plus 2 equal to 0. Or I can write t minus 2 times 2t square minus 11t minus 22 equal to 0. Conclusion is t minus 2 will be equal to 0. Or 2t square minus 11t minus 22 equal to 0. Let us solve one by one. So from the first equation, we can directly say if t minus 2 equal to 0, that means t equal to 2 is one real confirmed solution. And once I will write our quadratic equation, it was 2t square minus 11t minus 22 equal to 0. Then we have to check. Let's apply quadratic formula minus b. So 11 plus minus under the root b square minus 11 square 121 minus 4ac. So 8 times 22. It will be 176 divided by 2a. So 4. So I can write 11 plus minus square root 297 divided by 4. Now we know that 297 is 9 times 33. So I can write here 11 plus minus 3 square root 33 divided by 4. Now condition on t was there. t should be greater than 0. So this minus sign we will cancel. So I will write here 11 plus 3 root 33 over 4. 11 minus 3 root 33 over 4. Here t is negative and here t is positive. So we will cancel this one. So accepted value of t will be 11 plus 3 root 33 divided by 4. So two real solutions are confirmed. Let's check whether it is or not. See two and this one. Now I will plug in the value of our substitution t. Let me write here t equal to 2 and 11 plus 3 root 33 divided by 4. So t was a square root ab. 2 11 plus 3 root 33 over 4. Now I have to consider squaring to get the value of AB. So 2 square will be 4. And if I will consider squaring of this, then I will be having 209 plus 33 root 33 and denominator will be 8. If I will check this value, then it is coming out 49.8. So let me consider 50. Approximately it is 49.81. So I will frame two system basically from here. 
with AB4 and with AB this value let me consider 50 approximate so I'll be writing A plus B equal to 5 AB4 system number 1 and system number 2 A plus B equal to 5 AB equal to approximate 60 50 so I will be considering two systems let us solve one by one so if I will write a plus b equal to 5 a b is equal to 50 so consider one quadratic equation whose sum of roots 5 product of roots 50 and let me consider in a itself I will be writing a square minus sum of roots so 5a plus product of roots 50 equal to 0 I will only demonstrate the discriminant discriminant will be equal to minus 5a square minus 4 times 1 times 50 so it is 25 minus approximately 200 so this value is coming out negative 175 because of this is negative complex solutions will be there so we can reject this quadratic for real solutions rejected now the turn of system number one it was a plus b equal to 5 a b equal to 4 same argument we can think about one quadratic equation whose sum of roots 5 product of roots 4 and let us frame in a a square minus sum of roots so 5a plus product of roots so 4 equal to 0 once i will factorize i will be writing a minus 1 times a minus 4 equal to 0 conclusion from here is a equal to 1 a equal to 4 and a was our substitution a was this bracket this bracket was a so i will write x plus 2 equal to a equal to 1 and 4 so take away 2 from both sides so x will be equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1 4 minus 2 2 so these are basically our real solutions now the turn of verification let us check whether they will satisfy verify or not so i will consider our first solution x is equal to negative 1 and i will begin with lhs i will be writing a square root of minus 1 plus 2 so it is 1 cube plus a square root of 3 minus of minus 1 so 4 cube so a square root of 1 cube it will be 1 a square root of 4 cube it will be square root 64 so 1 plus 8 it will give us 9 RHS that means x is equal to negative 1 is verified now x is equal to 2 now I will begin with LHS a square root of 2 plus 2 4 cube plus the square root of 3 minus 2 1 cube now same logic the square root 64 plus the square root 1 8 plus 1 9 it is our RHS so this is also verified so our final real solutions for this radical equation it was x is equal to negative 1 and 2 and this brings the end of the video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye